It's called benign prostate hyperplasia, or BPH. It is the medical term for an enlarged prostate. Very common, causes urinary problems. So this morning, Dr. Akinwande joins us again to discuss it, tell us a new non-surgical way to treat it. So what exactly is, let's go back to, welcome back by the way, it's great well, to thank, see you. Thank you, I love, I love, coming, I love coming back. Well talk to us about B BPH, what is it exactly? So benign prostate hyperplasia is basically enlargement of the prostate, it happens in a lot of men, it's very common. As you start to get older and older, it becomes even more common. We always say that if you live long enough, you'll probably get um, an enlarged prostate. Okay, but an enlarged prostate is not necessarily cancer? No, it's not necessarily okay, cancer. So that that's an important distinction to make, I Absolutely, think. and that's very important that you po point that out because, because you don't want to blame it at, on benign prostate hyperplasia. If it's prostate cancer, you always want to be con conscientious about um, getting screened and making sure that you right. don't have prostate cancer. Because there's treat two very, I'm two guessing different two very different treatments for the two. 100%. All right, so uh, what type of, the sim of symptoms can people experience from enlarged prostate? So when you have an enlarged prostate, it makes it very difficult to urinate. Um, men will go to the bathroom several times. Sometimes they get to the bathroom and they can't let it all out. Mm -hmm. um, and then sometimes they have dribbling. Um, so this can, not, this can actually be very, very, um, uh, or can make a big issue with functionality, especially in a patient and their way of life, traveling long distances or even going to bed, they wake up multiple times to go to the bathroom. Um, so it's, it's, it's a very common problem and it's something that a lot of men deal with. But just because somebody's waking up in the middle of the night and going to the bathroom a lot, doesn't necessarily mean that you have the BPH, but that's why you need to talk to your doctor and, and pursue this. Absolutely. Okay, so how is it treated normally? So traditionally, it was surgery. Um, they would go in, um, you basically go in through the penis, and then you shave off portions of the prostate. Um, it's a, it's a very effective procedure, but it does carry the risk of um, sexual dysfunction, um, some impotence, and sometimes even urinary dribbling. Mm. Um, and so... Uh, and any surgery carries with it some degree of risk. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Right. But you know, the more invasive it is, the more the right. more risk. And so, in my practice, um, we focus on minimally invasive procedures and non-surgical treatments to to basically um, attack this kind of problem. And, and what are some of those types of treatments? Can you describe? I mean, what so, they are. So, or? in particular, I mean, last time I was here, we talked about urine fibroid embolization. Right. Now we're talking about prostate artery embolization. Right. Same concept. Basically, we go in with a small pinhole incision in the wrist or in the groin. Um, the incision is about this big. We get in, we get to the, to the arteries that feed the prostate, and we slow down the blood flow. When you slow down the blood flow, the prostate shrinks and then the symptoms go away. Really? Absolutely. So this, the, the research on this has actually been going on for the last 10 years. Um, I, 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 did a, I, did, um, I, I used to do this when I was faculty at, um, at Wash U. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we stopped. Uh, I mean, obviously, when I came out in, in, uh, in practice, we had to halt for a little bit until the research got strong enough. Gotcha. And now the research is um, very strong, and, and so that's why we're starting to offer it back to our patients. And, of course, the question everybody wants to know is, is this covered by insurance? Absolutely, yes. Oh, okay. So that's, that's a good thing about it. Is very that good. It is FDA approved, uh, and yes, it, it is covered by insurance. All right. Well, if you have had a consultation for surgery for BPH and you want a second opinion, I would urge you to call Mint prostate center today they also offer virtual consultations if you live far away the number is 314-255-2204 or you can visit mint mintprostate.com for more information and stick around because we will be